directions that we were thinking about going. I mean, there were a bunch of different directions. One was the National Geographic approach, you know, that was um, deliberately deliberately realistic and kind of uh, under key, underplayed in, in scope. And then there was a more broad, cartoony type of effect. And then there was a kind of a Sleeping Beauty illustration approach. And, and all these approaches were sort of milling around on the plot, but nobody really, nobody was really sure exactly what they wanted to do. And then uh, in a meeting one day, uh, the subject of David Lean came up. And David Lean as, uh, uh, David Lean in the sense of grand sweep and epic scale, uh, a sense of, um, a sense of drama played against uh, a huge canvas, a huge na uh, canvas that includes nature and weather and, you know, Lawrence of Arabia type of effects. And that was the thing, that was the, the uh, direction that really caught fire. And uh, all of us have been working in that direction. Um, I would say in early stages of development, um, N.C. Wyeth was a very, uh, very strong influence. Not so much in terms of um, not so much in terms of actual image or the kinds of places that he drew. I mean, most frequently he drew scenes that took place in a temperate climate, you know, although he did some tropical scenes too. But what impressed us most about N.C. Wyeth was his ability to compose and organize a picture in such, I mean, a scene in such um, bold, dramatic strokes and language. He's a very muscular kind of designer and very... Um, um, Always very simple, but always very powerful, and always working directly from his guts. And uh, it it takes a lot to, to compose a scene that way. And you know, we've just tried over and over and over and over again to try to compose a scene in that kind of good, strong, simple graphic language. Um, we've been treading a very fine line between uh, animation and nature. I would say. Nature's a notoriously hard thing to get your arms around. Even in live action, I think it's hard. It's hard to capture it and to, and to, and to bring it convincingly onto film. And uh, when you think about it, the drawn effect, you know, the hand-drawn effect is such a crude, it's such a crude thing. It's so difficult to catch something as subtle as a sunrise or a rain falling on a pond. And those are the kinds of effects we've been trying to get, and I think, I think we've achieved them.